That is a potential diamond level four mule deer. G'day everyone, welcome to Call of the Wild. We're here today on Parque Fernando and I have had a hankering recently to go on a good old mule deer hunt. I wanted to shoot these guys for ages and I just thought, screw it, we'll go out and try and get as many as we can. Hopefully we'll find some good trophies, but if not, should be a good hunt anyway. If you do enjoy the video, please consider giving it a like. It'll really, really help out the channel and I love your support. Really do appreciate it. Let's get straight into this hunt. So it seems like we got our first muley buck of the hunt. It's nothing too decent, so we're not going to waste too much time on him. Just get him down. That's all that matters. And the 303 is an absolute beast. Look how quick that guy's going down. We just spooked some muley bucks here. They're only level 3s, but I want that black buck. That's a really good looking level 4. Hopefully we'll be able to get him with a decent shot. And I'd say, yep, yeah, that's probably decent enough, I guess. There he is anyway, made a nice gold. That dude's freaking massive, man. He's a max weight estimate. He's a big level four. He could potentially be a diamond by that estimate. I'd say it's highly unlikely, but he's actually given us a bit of an angle at times. So we could take it, but I think we're going to try and sneak a little bit closer to him. Look at the size of the rack on this thing. This guy's absolutely huge. He's going to be a really, really big gold. And he's probably going to come out in this opening here. So if he does, I think that's where we're going to try and take our shot. There he is, guys, behind that brush. He's massive. Look at him in comparison to that other one. He's huge. Hopefully we can get a good shot in there. Nope. No. No, 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 no. And the tree's in the way. Okay. Okay. We totally butchered that. I don't know why the shot didn't register. I really don't know. That looked good. I tested the range. I had it zeroed at 150. I don't know how that totally missed him. Oh, God. We got to rest and recoup. Well, not rest, but we got to recoup and try and get this guy back because I really don't want to miss out on him. Is he 226? Hopefully, we'll get an angle back on him if he'll go broadside. But he's behind the tree, which doesn't help. But... Nope. I don't know why the shots weren't registering, but we got him down. We, we got him down. I'd say that looked like a good hard shot, but... I don't know. That's two in a row that looked pretty good, but just didn't register. I don't understand. There wasn't even any trees in the way. So, yeah, I guess that's just a problem we have to deal with, but something to keep in mind. But we did manage to get him down, so I'm quite happy to see that because he's a massive muley buck. Look at the size of the rack on this guy. He's a big muley buck. Alrighty, let's pick him up. He's a gold, 274, so he's at the lower end of his estimate. But we certainly made up for those shots that didn't register before because we managed to get a double lung heart shot. Really can't place it much better than that. That's really good. And he's a really, really good looking muley buck. We just stepped out of the outpost. And there's a really nice piebald mule doe there. That's really, really cool. They're traveling, so they're not going to stick around. And of course, they decide to start trotting as soon as I decide I'm going to take a shot. I think they're heading down to the lake at the back there. So I should be able to get them down there. And there's a dilute buck there as well. Yeah. Two rares in a herd. That's pretty cool, but hopefully she'll give us a shot coming through here. And she did. She should be going down. And she certainly is. That's a really nice looking doe. There's a dilute buck. I think he's just going to get out of our range, unfortunately. But I think that might have been good. <laughs> and it was. Just as he was about to go over that crest there, we managed to whack a lung in there. That's a really good shot. I'm actually quite impressed with that. But here's our piebald doe. And she's a really cool looking trophy. Pick her up. And yeah, that's an actual rare. So that's pretty good. I'm very, very happy with that. Unfortunately, it's not a buck, but it's better than nothing. So we'll chuck that one in the lodge. 
And we'll go get this buck. So the piebalds are a genuine rare, but these guys are more of an uncommon. But I don't tend to find the dilute bucks nearly as often. He didn't even go bloody 20 meters. But he's really cool. He's only a little too. But pretty nice to get nonetheless. So I've been hunting pretty much all night. And this has been the site that I've seen most of the night. Apart from the ones that I've shown you. is three, three, three. We've really barely even found any decent fours. So we're going to try and take this guy down. And then from there I think we'll jump over Silver Ridge Peaks. And see if we can't find any better mule deer over there. And our eyes certainly in, because that's a pretty good shot. I think we'll head over to Silver Ridge Peaks and, uh, yeah, see if we can't spot some better muley bucks over there. Already, guys, straight off the bat, as soon as we come to Silver Ridge Peaks, we find a really solid... He's gone. Over there. Okay. But we, there he is. Really, really solid level 4 muley buck. So, they are travelling, but I think that... I know where they're going. But if I get up on this higher ground here, we might get a little bit of a point in which we see them. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. But, yep, we'll see him come straight through there. So, that should be right on the money, and it absolutely was. He's going down in a hurry. Right, so he sure isn't the biggest, but... I mean, 237, that's still a really solid looking muley buck. Hey, at least it's a level 4, much more than we were getting on Parker. There we go, guys. Silver Ridge Peaks is bringing the goods so far. That's a nice little level 3, but this guy, I was thinking, geez, that's a big one to start off with. Max of 257, that's a really, really solid buck. But just you wait and see what comes behind that. Right there, that is a potential diamond level four mule deer if i can get a spot on him you'll see 268 to 330 i dare say he's just going to be a big gold but that's something i certainly want to get down i think we're gonna try and uh get a bit closer and take him down because that guy there is an absolute monster just look at the size of this guy that is without a doubt a huge potential diamond mule deer holy moly i still don't think he's gonna make it very low chance of it, and I know that, but that's a really, really, really big buck. We're just trying to sneak around to the side here, see if we can't get a better angle on him, but 158, as it stands, is a really, fairly doable shot. What was that? Just a little doe. But yeah, that, that's a really doable shot, but just want to get a bit of a better angle, just to make sure that we... Uh, don't mess anything up and that there's no doubt about us getting this kill. Oh, he's gone alert. Oh, oh, I don't even think that was me. There we go. And the other one. Yeah, he should be going down as well. Looks like we got both of those monster muley bucks. That is awesome. Here he is, this first big guy. He did not even go probably... 10 meters i'd say he got hit just over there and here he is piled up here he is massive he is a huge 272 he's a lot smaller than i thought he'd end up being actually if i'm quite honest but that's a really really big buck huge huge antlers on him certainly not going to complain about the size of him and here's the other one it'll be interesting to see what his scores because he had the lower estimate and yeah he's only a 250 but Still, look at his antlers. He's still a really, really solid muley buck. Really, really happy with how Silver Ridge Peaks is performing so far. Oh, you. I don't like your face. And that's what you get. Just over 300 meters out there, we've got ourselves a nice, big, mythical mountain lion. Thanks, I'm not too fussed. If it slows down the pace, might try and take it out with a nice, long shot. Should be pretty doable. If he slows down to that, we should be pretty right. And we shot over the top, but that second shot looked pretty good to me, and he's going down. And our big mythical ended up scoring 38.10, so he's actually a bit smaller than a lot of the other mythicals I get. I shot one a while ago that was 38.7 or 38.8, I think, so 
That's a bit small, but that's still a pretty good trophy to get. I'm not too upset with that. This big mule, he's just running up on us. Holy moly, that's a good looking guy there. And that should have drilled him, I'd say, and it certainly did. Bring him down a little bit quicker like that. But I certainly didn't expect such a good size level 4 mule deer to run up on us like that. It's 240.6, that's a good mule bark there. And that second shot really didn't help us at all, it just hit him in the leg, but he was certainly going down from that right lung shot. Anyway, that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We managed to get a nice rare doe and some really, really good sized bucks. No diamonds today, but hey, it's not all about that. It's about getting some good trophies and just having a good time overall. So I really hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please comment your thoughts down below. Let me know what you thought. I'd love to get in contact with you guys and know your thoughts. So therefore, I can make better content for you guys. And also smash that like button. I would really, really appreciate it. It helps out more than you can imagine. Unlike that goat, hit a really bad shot on him. There we go, got him. <laughs> that was a good shot. Um, Yeah, it helps out more than you can imagine and I really, really do appreciate it. It means a lot. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.